Hi guys, I'm back today with another video. Um, I went to the post office and I got some more packages. My friend came out to the lake for a couple days uh, to do some cleaning up in her cabin um, because she might not be here for Christmas. She might probably be in the state, so she figured she would clean it up and probably she might be here for New Year's. So she was going to town and she asked me if I wanted to go anywhere and I told her, well, maybe I'll check the post office because I've always got mail coming now. It's coming on to Christmas and I have lots of stuff coming all the time. So um, uh, this box here, I might have some other Christmas presents in there and this is from Amazon.com. Um, so... I might have some other Christmas presents in here, but there should be one thing in here for me. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I just want to show you everything because just in case my fiance is watching or whatever because I have stuff in here for him as well. So this is what I like to use on these boxes and I just cut down the middle. Cuts it very neat. Then I can do the sides. You go lie down, doggy. Go on. I'll get his face in the way and get cut. Okay, so just as I thought, this has the Christmas presents in there. So I'm going to just fold that up back and nice because they they come in this big box but then they're individually boxed off so that's a good thing I can actually I don't have to wrap it in this big box I can just take it and wrap it like that because it, it's got its own box and everything so I got these uh, Garnier stuff um, I've seen some reviews on them and they seem to be pretty good so I've got the dark spot overnight peel and before I buy anything I usually read the reviews first and I think I paid about $11.99 each for these. Um, in the store here you pay like $20 for one of these so I couldn't buy it because I thought well $20 for one you know and I know it's not a lot of product you're getting so I saw it on Amazon. I mean, even with the shipping that I would have paid, it didn't work out too much. So I said, well, I'll grab this one. So I'm going to try this. And what does it do again? Peels are one of the most effective targeted care for dark spots, age spots, discoloration, and uneven skin tone. They help to speed natural exfoliation to reveal smoother skin and even skin tone while improving the effectiveness of other care. Many peels, however, can be harsh and irritating on skin. So, uh, how do you use this? <clears throat> Directions. Each night, apply a thin layer of skin renew Clinical dark spot overnight peel to face and neck, avoiding eye areas. And then for best results, use Skin Renew Clinical Dark Spots in the morning. So I don't know if this is what I got or if that's an entirely different product. So this is this one. And then what is this one? Dark Spot Corrector. So I guess it's using in you know, together, the next day you use this one. So, gently apply Garnier Skin Renew Clinical Dark Spot Corrector to face and neck twice daily. So one is night and one is day. Application on the eye contour can be less frequent in case of discomfort or eye reaction. So this one here is a dark spot corrector, daily moisturizing care, helps correct the look of dark spots, post acne marks, discolorations, 
instantly brightens and pure vitamin C. So I don't think it has an SPF in there. So I don't know how I'm, I might use it over my, my uh, sunscreen because I always use sunscreen even in the winter time because the sun is always there, like I said. Uh, even when it looks like it's cloudy, a little bit of sun is always peeking through those clouds. So they say you should always wear sunscreen. I mean, you can probably go a bit higher for the SPF in the summertime more than in the winter, but I've been using mine and it's, it's still greasy, but my skin tends to get pretty dry in the winter, so it really likes the sunscreen even though it's too oily so I like that so that was the two things I bought and there's a couple more that I wanted to buy and um, that is going to be from uh, amazon.ca I think they have the under eye uh, what do they call that again dark circles under eye roll it's it's got a roll like a ball at the end and you just roll it on and then the liquid comes out or whatever i think it's a pretty good price on on the dot ca site so i might try that and there's another uh face cream or something that i wanted to get as well and um i i went to our pharmacy and i bought this um Mark Antony Coconut Oil and Shea Butter uh, Deep Nourishing Body Lotion. Um, so I've never tried this one. I've tried uh, cocoa butter before and I've never tried a coconut uh, scented one. This is actually coconut oil in there. It's, it's really high smelling but I like the smell of it. So this is this one and um, it's a uh, tropical coconut blended with chamomile and white tea soothes, restores, and softens dry skin. So I'm thinking it's good for winter as well. -da 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 -da. Uh, it says 10 times hydration and softness. So tropical coconut oil blended with chamomile white tea and shea butter transforms dehydrated tired skin into softer younger looking skin with all day moisture directions use daily after shower or bath to help hydrate and nourish the skin so um the other one i was using the jergens i really like that it really left my skin feeling soft because I would apply it just after my shower. I would rub it on and then just pat dry my skin with a towel. And I think it really absorbs the moisture and it helps your skin. So I'm hoping that this one works as well. I don't know if I can apply it there or if I have to dry my skin first or I can use it like I was using the other one. I don't know. I can try it out and see what happens. So that was that one. And I've got another Amazon package here. Um, this is from .com as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that one. And this is probably that mug I was telling you guys about that I ordered. So that Christmas mug. I'm pretty happy with Amazon.com because they ship, they ship fast and uh, you get your stuff like most times within a week or so and they put a lot of uh, those bubble, bubble tape or packing or whatever you call that and then it's individually boxed as well so that's good too. Then I like I can reuse these boxes for something else. Like if I want to send maybe a package to somebody, at least I have a nice box I can use. Okay, so it's in an individual box. What does it say here? Wash thoroughly before and after. So it has to be done mugged. 
hope it's nice because it looks nice on the side so I've got another video being uploaded I'm pretty behind with the videos because it's taking forever to upload videos I'm currently working on a Christmas one with the decorating and stuff and um, I finished decorating the living room but I have to work on the dining area now because I have to steam the table runner and the placemats and I want to steam the tree skirt as well because I just put it down so that it looks presentable and but I'm gonna take it off and just steam it quickly and I have to do our kitchen curtains as well my mom had sent me those curtains last Christmas and I really like them now I don't get along with uh, styrofoam I just hate styrofoam they stick everywhere so it was boxed up really nicely and I'm impressed with that Wow, I've got styrofoam all over my hands and I hate that because it kind of sticks to me and I just don't like that at all. Okay, so this is my Christmas mug. It's pretty big. I'm not much of a tea person, but I think for Christmas Eve night I'm going to um, use it for hot chocolate and even drink my tea in there. I don't usually drink too much tea. And it's got, it came with a little spoon which looks like a shovel. So that's pretty cute. And then you just put it in here. And then you use it for stirring like that. Oh my, that's pretty cute. I like it. There were some other nice ones, but they, they didn't want to ship it to Canada. I think it was a set of two. They were prettier than this one. Um... But I was going to send it for my mom because she likes those things. But she said she's got lots of them. So I didn't bother. And uh, I would have been able to get probably free shipping on them to the States. Because .com is based in the States. So. so yeah, so this is my Christmas mug. And I can't wait to use this one. I think it's pretty. It looks just like it does on the site. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with all the stuff I've bought so far and um, I can't wait to try out my uh, my Garnier stuff. They look like they're going to be good. I've read a lot of good reviews about that brand. So I'm actually using the, um, what's it called again? Hmm. The puffy eye uh, remover or something like that. It removes the under eye puffiness. I've been using that and I think it's good. Uh, my fiance had bought that. I had originally wanted a dark under eye um, dark circle remover, but he bought that one instead. And um, I said, well, I'll try it and see how it works, you know, because he didn't know exactly which one it was. So yeah, I'm using that and I like it and um, it seems to be pretty good, a pretty good brand so far. So I'm hoping that these work out as good. So yeah, so nothing much new here. Um, I was going to say it was a nice day because it was pretty nice when I took my dog for a walk this morning. Um, however, it has changed. It's pretty windy now. And um, it's sunny. I got some beautiful pictures this morning of the sun on the lake because it's frozen and some, I'm pretty sure it's all frozen, but oh, I can see some water running in there. But a lot of it is frozen, so where the sun was shining was on the ice and the clouds just had a really nice shape to it. So I took the pictures this morning from my window. They look really nice too. So sometimes you can get some really nice shots. Um, they got a freezing rain warning for out here today, but um, I haven't seen any. It was kind of cloudy when I woke up this morning, and I think it did rain maybe 
earlier in the morning or maybe last night because you can see that it's really smooth so you can tell that it might have rained there or whatever but um, I always wear my my grips on my shoes anyways as soon as I see it's slippery I put those on so I'm always ready to go with that they work pretty good too and um, yeah so it started to get a little bit windy when we were out and um, the wind was just nice and it was it wasn't cool it wasn't cold just a cool breeze it was nice and refreshing I didn't even have to wear gloves or scarf today I just wore this sweater underneath my jacket and a hat because I always like to cover my head I don't want to get sick for Christmas that'll suck so um, it was kind of nice. I was doing a couple house checks around here because I do that. I get paid to do that every month because people are not here often. So they'd like somebody to go in like every other day and check their house inside. Make sure the heating is still working and nothing is flooding in the house and stuff like that windows are okay you know different different things the same things you would look for in your own home that is what they want so that is what i do i do that for two houses um i'm just worried that when it gets icy like in january february that's when it's terrible out here but i'll still have to do it because you know they're depending on me to do it because they can't always be here so if i've agreed to do it you know i should stick by my promise and do it so i'll have to manage maybe when my fiance is home i let him give me a ride there it's within walking distance but you know me i'm a scaredy cat when it comes to ice so if he's here i can get him to drive me there it doesn't take me very long to check the house so that I'll probably do that or make it there on my own, you know. When it's not icy, it's okay, you know. It's not too bad. So we'll see what happens. So yeah, it's pretty quiet out here. Um, nothing much. I'm decorating and stuff like that. And um, I can't help but sit and look at my tree all the time. It's so pretty. I love to look at the decorations on there. I'm looking at the TV and I find myself looking over there at it all the time. I just love it. Ornaments make a difference on a tree. I mean, I like when I bring the tree upstairs, I plug it in, there's lights on already, I can look at it. But when you put those decorations on, it's just so beautiful to look at. I've got some really nice decorations too. I try to order some on uh, hallmark.com but they wouldn't ship to Canada and I thought I was gonna get some really cute ones and then I hate that because sometimes you go on a site you think you're gonna get it to come to your address you add it to your card and when you go to pay you realize oh geez they don't ship to Canada you know what I mean and it just makes me mad about that so when I go to the city, I'm going to go check out the stores and see if I like anything. I like to get one every year. Um, but our tree is pretty much full, so I shouldn't even bother buying anymore unless we get a bigger tree. This one is pretty big too. I, can, I can't even reach the top of it without a step ladder. So it's taller than me. So yeah, so that's that, and um, I did manage to get to order that Pandora charms. You spend $150, you get a free silver limited edition bracelet free. So I was able to get them on the phone. I had to phone in my order, and um, then they charge a credit card. I really don't like using my credit card everywhere, but... They're a uh, good, uh, good business. I've checked the BBB and I haven't seen any complaints. So they should be a good place to order from. My friend actually knows about them. They have a store where she's living and they also ship online. So, so I said, well, okay. Every, in life, everything is a chance. So take the chance, get it done. But usually when I order from them... 
I use my PayPal because I feel safer that way because I've had fraud on all my credit cards uh, when I had just come here when I had just gotten those cards not even a year so I'm pretty skeptical with that kind of stuff but anyways I'm gonna get a free bracelet I hope it fits um, I know they do tend to get smaller as you add charms so even if it's pretty big it's gonna get charms on there because I might make that my Christmas bracelet and change the other one that I had bought and put other charms on there because I have charms that I can't fit on that first bracelet that I got so I'm gonna have to do some rearranging and stuff like that to make it all fit um, I didn't order any Christmas charms because I want to wait and see if he's gonna buy me any and um, I don't want us to end up with the same thing because then we won't be going back to the city to return it if you know I would have to return the ones I bought then I would have to pay shipping on it and stuff so I said well I hold off on the Christmas ones and when at Christmas time they put on these specials where they have they put together three Christmas charms in a box and they give you a good deal on them so he might even be persuaded to buy that so I'll just have to remind him of the ones that I already have so he doesn't buy the same ones because sometimes that happens so yeah I was able to get that and there's another promotion they had on Monday with um they had Cyber Monday with um the I think what do they call it? I think that was a limited edition bracelet as well it's got uh, sparkly uh, stones for the clasp and there's a couple silver charms on there with stones in them it's an all silver bracelet I think it was 225 it looked like it was nice but I thought well no I don't want to spend 225 and buy something online I prefer to see what I'm getting for that price so when I go there I'm gonna buy a couple more things from them um, so yeah I'm getting so excited about Christmas I can't wait and um, I can't wait to start wrapping my presents I've got to set up the room upstairs for the present wrapping station and get it ready write up Christmas cards and send them off and stuff like that yesterday I played my CD I played uh, Kenny and Dolly and I think I played one of uh, I think I played Johnny Mattis as well so I played this one yesterday on my CD player while I was decorating and I was surprised I got it all finished but I have a video of that as well so that'll be a different video so yeah so I'm gonna go and get started on some stuff here um, tomorrow I'm gonna be house cleaning downstairs so I will not really have the time I want to really give it a nice clean and shampoo the rug and stuff like that so I'm not gonna really have time but I have one video being uploaded and this one is gonna be posted tomorrow so so yeah I won't feel too bad about that so guys uh, if you enjoy this video please hit the like and um, I'm going to be back um, I'm not sure when probably next weekend uh, what is today Wednesday Friday Saturday Sunday Wednesday Wednesday maybe on the weekend to do another video or if I get any cooking videos in between that I'll be able to post them. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you back here another time. Okay, guys? Take care. Bye-bye.